Hello, hello. Um, I have a, a quick product tour because I can't exactly uh, review this right this second because I have to do some other stuff for it. But um, I'm into 3D printing. I've been doing it for eh, well over a year now, and I very much enjoy it. But I have the uh, Mono Price MP Select Mini, but mine is heavily, heavily modified. Um, I have a much larger bed, uh, original E3D V6, uh, hot end, and just a whole lot of other stuff here. Uh, I do have a support bracket here, but it's I'm, I'm redesigning it, so it's not on. But it still works without it, of course. But uh, to give you an idea here, this is the original um, bed. And then this is my new bed. I mean, so you can see how, I mean, the difference in the size here. Uh, I normally use glass, which I have one here now, um, and with hairspray or glue. It all depends what I'm doing. And then um, sometimes I use blue tape. But I tried BuildTac and I wasn't too happy with it. But I tried BuildTac a long time ago, and that was, you know, when I was using my original um, heat bed. But here I had a chance to review this, and it's from a company called um, D O B S T F Y. Dobstify? I'm not sure <laughs> how to pronounce it exactly. But it's um, on Amazon, it's called Dobstify 3D Printing Build Surface 3D Printer Heat Bed Platform Sticker Sheet. Now these are 12 inches by 12 inches square, so I mean they're, you know, <laughs> they're really big. And uh, you get a pack of four, and it's $25 for the whole pack of four, prime shipping of course. And um, you know, I'm going to have to clean my bed and all that and put it on, do better test it out here. Uh, you can easily cut this to size. Uh, as you can see it comes packaged, it came packaged in a box of course, but then they have it wrapped in this. Uh, it is a 3M adhesive, you can see right through the double wrap there. Uh, which is, you know, always good to see because you know it's going to stick. Now that stuff is supposedly going to last a long time. That was one of the issues I had with BuildTac when I used it. It didn't seem to last. Um, but here you can see uh, this is all marked. We have our measurements here. We have, um, you know, squares, angles, stuff like that. But you have your inch marks on here. So you can easily cut it to fit. Now, for me, this is fine because of my bed is so large, so 12 by 12 is great for me. This stuff here is, uh, I mean, it's fairly thick. I mean, I'm, I only have one finger underneath it, and it's staying uh, pretty much straight. So, I mean, it is stiff. It is fairly thick. Again, it's the uh, 3M double-coated tissue tape is what this says. It's a 908OA is what it says, uh, what it says there. Now, supposedly, you can uh, just keep reusing this over and over again. And the instructions mention just clean it with uh, alcohol. Just um, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, whatever. Just wipe it down and you're set. You can use it with, me. according to them, you can use it with everything. ABS, PLA, hips, pet. Uh, it even says brick, wood, flexible. Um, I've used um, ABS, PLA, PETG, uh, and TPU. And I also have a wood-based PLA as well, which is a bit different. I'm working on uh, getting nylon too, but uh, that's another story. But um, this is it here, and uh, I'm really curious to see how it works. So I'm gonna need some time to uh, you know clean my bed, get it installed, and cut it and all that stuff. But I just want to share it with you. I think it's a good deal um, so far for what it is. I mean, you know, <laughs> just as is. But once I uh, you know get it totally done, I will um, let you know how it is. The full review will be down. Uh, the link for it will be down in the description. Again, it's from uh, Dobstify. It seems interesting. It's, it, it seems thicker than BuildTac. Uh, again, I've tried BuildTac before. It does seem thicker than BuildTac. And it's a, uh, it's a matte surface, but it's not very rough. Um, the only reason I like glass is because, you know, it gives you a nice smooth finish on it. But you can't use glass with everything. Now, this here, it has a, a matte, again, it has a matte finish is what they call it. Uh, it has a very fine texture to it, but it, it is almost uh, almost smooth. So I'm really curious to see how the prints will come out with this. But um, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say here. I'm going to have to try it out. And I'll let you know, um, again, the link will be down in the description for the review. Thanks.